I will present uh, my presentation inside the work for a model of inside constraints for ambient environment. No. The content. In the first part, I will introduce my work. In the second, I will present the syntax of time agile authors, which is the language I'm using to model in this intelligence. In the third part, I will illustrate my work with an example. And, I will, uh, and finally, I will conclude the paper. The first part, introduction, which I will give some definition, the problematic and basics. First of all, what is ambient system? Ambient systems are context aware, which means they adapt to the environment changes. They are uh, composed of heterogeneous devices that may appear and disappear. Has advanced technology like IoT, uh, Internet of Things, robotic, etc., and the information is always available. Workflow technology. Workflow te technology is the automation of business process. It's widely considered in ubiquitous environments. Workflow ma management systems uh, are widely used to model ambient intelligence. They are context aware and they, uh, they include the concepts of time management and location and resource management. Problematic. Workflow are used to model ambient systems which, in, which can connect users with IoT and smart devices. So we use context awareness within uh, workflow, which give us the context aware workflow. We need to model context aware workflow. Uh, modeling include time management. Time management, uh, it means we, we, uh, we model time related information. In the state of the art, there are two well known classes the time uh, WFNet and time BPMN. The second part is the time agilotos for workflow. We give the syntax. Time agilotos is, 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 uh, is an extension of LOTOS, of agilotos, which is an extension of LOTOS. Uh, I will give a brief, uh, re, uh, brief uh, summary of. Uh, LOTOS. Uh, LOTOS operators are the sequence, uh, the choice, discipline, parallelism, synchronization, and pure interleaving. Uh, there is operators like stop and exit, the prefix, uh, hiding. We include in the Agile LOTOS the, uh, the spatial localities, which is uh, an important characteristic of ambient intelligence, and the communication. Uh, H is the ambient primitive move. Time agilotos include the time informations. Here we add some operators. They are uh, mainly uh, they are mainly uh, inspired from uh, RT lotos and ET lotos, which are the, the, the uh, delay and SP uh, predicate de selection and uh, the duration. Like I have given uh, a definition of the duration, uh, 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 must end before the end of the time uh, or the interval day. At, it means that T must be between the minimum and the maximum value. Case study. In the following, I gave an example. It's a little example. X time of surgery. It means that X is a user. In our case, is the uh, the doctor. He will he will uh, receive the time of the surgery. Prefix. It means next. He will move to the operator room. Operator room is the locality. T on. It means the time when he has to move the operating uh, room. Uh, do not. Uh, it has to respect the duration, which is two. It means it's, it, it doesn't exceed the value two. Next, do the anesthesia. The anesthesia is T2, c'est-à-dire it's the value of the time. Uh, it must be included between two minus T1 and four minus T1. It means if T equals zero, 
he can go to the operator room. If t equal 1, he can go to the operator room. If t equal 2, he can go to the operator room. But, but if t equal, uh, equal to 3, it means if he, uh, if he uh, passed a lot of time in moving to the operator room, he can't go to the operator room and it's failed. Conclusion. We have present, uh, presented an approach to model context aware workflows by incorporating uh, time related information. Time agilotas uh, is useful in modeling uh, process in ambar uh, uh, ambient environments. Uh, the proposed model can be used in the verification process and we, uh, we aim to consider uh, in the future uh, more perspective like resource management. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation and respect of time. Any question, please? If you let me to ask, I have one question. Uh, how heterogeneous systems can communicate? So, ambient system is above IoT, which the, they have talking about earlier. So, there is IoT, which is Internet of Things. They are devices, like in smart cities or smart home. The intelligence that connects this IoT, these devices with people, we call it ambient intelligence. The communication can be uh, 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 via can be via uh, protocol of communication. In our case, we have modeled the communication by operators, by, by operators, just to uh, formal modeling. In our case, the operators are uh, point d'exclamation pour recevoir, uh, point d'interrogation de, 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 pour recevoir et point d'exclamation pour uh, l'émission pour envoyer un message. Mais euh, en réalité, euh, dans, les, dans les IoT, Internet of Things devices, en réalité, ce sont des protocoles de communication. Réseau. In this process, what happens if, uh, for example, the, the T2 not working as well? What? One of the steps stops, par exemple. It's a fail. Fail. Yes. We want it to capture the fail, so we can model and eventually verify the model, verify the system in general. It is very difficult to verify such highly dynamic system. Ambient systems are highly dynamic, so it's really difficult to to model and verify uh, such type of system. <laughs> Voilà, c'est juste pour vous montrer que les systèmes ambiants sont vraiment critiques. C'est un petit exemple, c'est tout. Par exemple, l'exemple le, le, de mon article de revue, il est un peu plus compliqué. Les, les états, c'est presque genre mille, mille états. J'ai mille états. Donc, elle est compliquée dans le sens où vous avez proposé ce montre opérationnel ou non euh, Bon, euh, sémantique opérationnelle. Par exemple, dans ce cas. On ne va pas utiliser la sémantique opérationnelle pour, euh, pour modéliser vraiment les, toutes les états. On va euh, utiliser la, la sémantique de maximalité. Ici, votre travail, vous avez proposé la syntaxe seulement ou bien la syntaxe La syntaxe seulement. La sémantique derrière. La sémantique derrière, il y en a deux. Euh, il y a euh, la sémantique d'entrelacement et on a utilisé aussi la sémantique de vrai parallélisme. Donc il y en a deux travaux, c'est pour ça que j'ai proposé que la syntaxe, c'est-à-dire le concept d'utiliser Time Agilotos. J'ai proposé qu'on peut utiliser Time Agilotos, mais je n'ai pas détaillé euh, la sémantique. Parce qu'il y a toujours la différence entre l'entrelacement et le vrai parallélisme. Donc ça dépend de l'utilisation. Ok, ok, thank you so much. I invite the third participant, Waiva Elsby.
אז 